New tonight, George Washington University's president is sharing a message after D.C. police cleared protesters from campus this morning. She says it pains the university that these actions were necessary. 33 protesters were arrested after spending two weeks on campus. 7 News' Christian Flores is live for us at GW tonight. So Christian, a much quieter scene out there tonight. Yeah, it's a much different scene than we've seen for nearly the past two weeks. Gone are the tents replaced by police officers barricading off this area. And now we're hearing from students and city leaders about this morning's arrests. The clashing of GW protesters and police quickly evolved into demonstrators washing pepper spray out of their eyes as officers cleared out the encampment, arresting more than 30 people. We will not lose eyes of our compass in Palestine. That is our, that leads our movement forward. That is the forefront of our struggle and we will not allow some arrests to get in the way of that. And we find it abhorrent that the university president would rather, you know, subject students to that violence than even sit down at the table with negotiators no matter how long they waited and were willing to negotiate on demands. 7 News on your side reached out to GW to request a sit down interview with school leaders, but they deferred to their earlier statement stating officers warned students to leave and arrested those who stayed. MPD Chief Pamela Smith and Mayor Muriel Bowser defending this morning's arrests. Over the past few days, we began to see an escalation in the volatility of the protests at GW. And our responses to demonstrations is always rooted in public safety. I went to the uh, encampment, the protests, just a few days ago to see it for myself, to see was it peaceful, uh, was there any anti-Semitism, what was the nature, and it was calm. D.C. Councilmember Robert White tells 7 News he was taken aback by this morning's arrests, but points to the timing of all of this. The demands were, were pretty reasonable, and, and so I was surprised that the mayor sent an MPD to clear it out. I think the timing was convenient uh, to avoid a, a difficult congressional hearing, uh, but here's the reality. Uh, well, college campuses are supposed to be a place where we're having difficult conversations. That congressional committee hearing, where the mayor and police chief were set to testify, was canceled after the encampment was cleared. White says he was surprised by this action because he just spoke with Mayor Bowser on Monday. She essentially said she would follow the law, but didn't give any indication that anything was forthcoming. As officers continue standing guard and fencing off the portion of campus where tents once stood, students say they're not done. When we say we're not leaving, we're not leaving. Now, this portion of campus will remain barricaded through commencement, which is a little more than a week from now. Reporting live at George Washington University, Christian Flores, 7 News.